Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a new record from a survey within Salesforce. So a couple of things of housekeeping um, regarding surveys before we jump into the tutorial. One, you need to have surveys enabled. So that's just in the quick find search for surveys and then enable it to toggle on. Two, you need to have the feedback management license in order to have this advanced feature technically is what it's called of a survey. So that's super important. If you don't have that, you won't be able to do the advanced data mapping that you need to. Third thing that you need to have is you need to have a permission set assigned to you or whomever's creating the survey. That is the Salesforce surveys advanced features permission. It's highlighted right here. So I have this assigned to me. Let's go and jump into surveys. Okay, I am gonna create a new survey here and have this be a create new op um, and continue. So essentially what this is gonna do, we're gonna be creating a new opportunity based upon our data mappings. So I'm going to grab a couple of things from our uh, survey participant. We're gonna be grabbing, let's just grab their name and then a yes, no, if they would like to, or I guess their company name and then a yes, no, if they would like to purchase more products. All right, I'm just gonna have this be a welcome and then a thank you page. All right, now let's go ahead and grab a new page. I'm gonna have this page name be company name. Um, it's important if you're going to be creating a new opportunity based upon a survey to grab this information. Uh, so that way you can have some identifying information to put into your new opportunity. Because um, if you didn't ask this, there's no way to understand who was taking the survey or I guess who would be answering the survey or what company they were with. So I am going to have this be a short text box. I am just gonna say, what is the name your company? Um, and any other information that you would like to have put on your opportunity, be sure to grab that from the survey. You could have this be like a customer satisfaction survey where you say, please enter your company name and then you would say how satisfied you are and then maybe ask, at the very end of the survey if they would like to purchase more. And then from that last page, you'd be able to create that opportunity. So I am going to save this. I think that's good. All right, then let's go ahead and enter in another uh, question or another question box. I'm gonna have this be a like or dislike. We're gonna change this from like, dislike to a yes, no to make it a little easier on us. And I'm gonna have this say, would you like to purchase more products from our company? And I'm gonna label this purchase yes, no. And save that. So now that we've kind of created the bare bones of what we need to create in order to do the data mapping, let's go and jump into advanced settings here. So I click the down carrot and then go to survey data mapping and create a new mapping. All right, so let's say create new op for the name. Now we are gonna choose the action type. Of course, we wanna create a record. You can also update and send custom notifications. And then we're gonna choose our target object, which is going to be the opportunity object. All right. So this is where I think data mapping is a little turned around. So it's gonna have you map first and then choose the condition type. Contextually, personally, I think it's better to choose the condition type, create a new opportunity for every survey um, or do it based upon conditions. Let's do it based upon conditions. And what I want to do is have it be a response to the question of, would you like to purchase more? And is equal to yes. All right, so there we have the conditions met. Now let's go ahead and jump into the actual data mapping. So there are three fields that we have to have because they are required. It's gonna be the close date, the name, and the stage. We asked for the name already as the first question and what the company name is. So that's what we're gonna have be for the name. And that's why we asked for it. So I'm gonna do response to question there. And then what is the name of the company? So whatever 
that name, that's going to become the opportunity name. All right, then we do have to choose a close date. You can go ahead and edit close dates later on. Depending on how long you're having this survey run, that should indicate to you when you should put the close date for. I'm going to have this be for December 31st of next year. That's far enough along that people aren't updating their forecasts or their data, then it will be an outlier in the pipeline. And so they'll be able to say, oh, I need to go ahead and update this opportunity or reach out to this customer. And then we also need to have a stage picked out. That's going to just be a default. These are all going to be default when the opportunity is created. I'm going to have this be needs analysis because they're already qualified. They've already been prospected that they want to purchase more. And so it is an upscale or an upsell opportunity here. We can add more rows to add more data mappings. Um, as you can see here, we can talk about amount, close date. Of course, we already did that one. We could enter in the contact ID. So maybe we are going to pull this from a merge field or maybe we, yeah, grab it from somewhere. Can add a description here is private, lead source, main competitors. Next step, we can enter quantity. Really anything that you want to have associated. Um, with your new opportunity that you are creating, be sure to grab that from the person taking the survey, the participant. So I'm actually going to do one more. That's going to be next step. And let's talk about information types before I enter in a string for this. We could have this be response to a question, or associated record ID, um, existing map, response fields, um, a bunch of those. But we're just going to have this be a string. Follow up with survey participant. All right. So now I am going to go ahead and save this data mapping and the map was successfully created. Go back to the builder. All right. So from here, what you would likely do is you would go ahead and fill in all the missing pieces towards the survey to make it the best survey that you want to go out to your customers. Or if this is internal, then you're going to want to fill in the holes that we have left here. Um, but if you want to go ahead, save it, and then you would activate it here. Okay, and then once we have activated it, then you can send it out via invitation or email, and then analyze your responses and check out how many opportunities you have created or records you've created from your survey data map. With that being said, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses at salesforceupscale.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.